So, this is what happens when you don't pay attention when you're using an expanding foam. So, the next time you see me, I'm not going to have a beard. the little time lapse of me working on the the leg and the hip it's just a little bit of what I'm doing well it's the next day beard's gone well almost completely gone um, so the reason why I was playing with the uh, expanding foam uh, was last winter we were having some issues with mice in our shed and my workshop and uh, they dug a couple holes in the back of the wall and uh, the the corner of the building was pulling away from the the press board was pull, pulling away in the frame so I just put some expanding foam in the corner and I uh, leaned forward to fill the holes and my chin rubbed against the corner so that's why um, that happened and uh, I solved the problem with the hole in the middle of the giraffe neck so I filled it with expanding foam and uh, I was kind of hoping, well, let's get you in there. I was kind of hoping that uh, I'd be able to pull the cord out and, uh, yeah, be able to change it. But because of these little tiny seams the expanding foam had seeped in and now the cord stuck so hopefully this cord lasts a long time good thing is is it's got the cloth on it so that should help make it last a little longer hopefully <laughs> 